25 years, cities have been the engines of your progress in Sid Meier's Civilization. Civilization VI brings an innovative new way of managing cities by allowing you to build out from your home tile and across the world map. Each city will still consist of one home tile, but there are now districts surrounding the city. Districts are specialized for different tasks, such as research, growth, culture, or production. There are many different kinds of districts in Civilization VI. Some civs will have unique districts only they can construct. Each district contains buildings that support its role. The campus is used to boost the science of a city. After researching writing as a technology, you'll be able to construct a campus in your cities. The library is the first building built on the campus. Later, during the medieval era, you'll research education and be able to construct a university. Finally, during the modern era, you'll be able to build the research lab once you've discovered chemistry. Each time you build a building on the campus, it will increase the amount of science that city is producing. The location of a district is important. Districts can be built in a valid tile outside the city. A district can be given a bonus by placing it next to certain features. Our campus, for example, gets a bonus when it is built near a mountain or rainforest. Other districts will have their own adjacency bonuses. Wonders, too, require their own tile for placement and may have requirements for where they can be placed. The pyramids, for example, must be constructed on a floodplain or desert. Theater districts benefit from being built adjacent to a wonder. The Great Library can only be built adjacent to a campus. Spread your cities across the land as you master districts, a major new addition in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Theodore Roosevelt leads the American Civ in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. The famous quote from the 26th President of the United States, speak softly and carry a big stick, reflected his governing style. He championed the popular reforms of the progressive era and a muscular foreign policy backed by a reinvigorated U.S. Navy. In Civilization VI, each civilization has two abilities. One is based on what the nation has done throughout history, and the other is tailored to what happened during the ruler's reign. The American Civ has the special ability Founding Fathers, which shortens the time needed to earn government legacy bonuses. The Americans also get the P-51 Mustang Unique Unit, with extended range and bonuses against other fighter aircraft. As a leader, Teddy Roosevelt can provide the Americans with a combat bonus for fighting on their home continent. He also has the Rough Riders as a unique unit. These mounted troops are effective in hills, gain culture from kills on their home continent, and have a low maintenance cost. Both of America's unique military units come into play after the industrial era. The Americans are a powerful cultural sieve which shines in the middle and late game. Tourism is key to winning a cultural victory, and America has two unique traits that can help it here. The film studio is a unique building that boosts the American tourism output during the modern era. Teddy Roosevelt also gives a tourism bonus to America's national parks, which makes them stronger than the parks of other sieves. With these advantages, the other civs will be wearing blue jeans and listening to your pop music as America cruises towards a cultural victory. Are you ready to take up the limelight of the silver screen? How will you lead America to victory in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?